Well done, everybody. Here are the current results. Would like you to introduce you to new, some new soldiers that will be joining us. Wow. <clears throat> That's it for the new soldiers. Evaluate their individual abilities and deploy them accordingly. Here we have our Yatabes. Pilot standby tent. Captain, I've got to talk to you. What is it? Don't you think Ryoko is acting kind of strange recently? Ryoko? Now that you've mentioned it, she does seem a bit nervous about the anti-AFW. Personally, I think there is more to it than that. I really don't get what you're trying to say. Maybe I'm just nervous. Forget it. Ryoko. We have no time to be mulling over such matters. After having, er, after having remained relatively stable for the past several years, the North-South situation has grown tense. This is presumed to be due to the foreign policy of North Japan. At first, North-South Japan had been a Far East microcosm of the Cold War between the East and West powers. But that delicate balance was upset when North Japan, in an attempt to transform both puppet government into a fully independent state, separated from the Soviet Empire. Well, Soviet sphere, wow. A focal issue at the time was the suspected development of nuclear warheads in North Japan. While it is... While it is was recognized, wow, that North Japan was unable to develop nuclear warheads on its own, it was clear that the region was receiving support from the Soviet Union. Suspicion was also deepened by the refusal of North Japan to allow inspectors from the UN and the International Atomic Energy Organization to access relevant facilities. In this century, a sense of crisis has pervaded the capitalist camp over the unconfirmed intelligence reports concerning the possibility of weapons of mass destruction being developed in the socialist countries of the Far East. Chapter 3, Assault on the Prison Morioka Prison Camp. I think that's what that is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a transmission from Commander Shringen. Listen up! According to the information received from the Liberation Front Karma, Type 3 has been taken to the Morioka Prison Camp. Prison Camp? What the hell is that? In North Japan, people who participate in anti-government activities are put in such institutions for what they call re-education. It's the kind of place that, once you enter, you never see the light of day again. Humanitarianism, humanitarian, wow, humanitarianism is not one of their specialties. In addition to hard labor, their living conditions are horrendous. Being sent to one of these prison camps is the same as receiving a death sentence. That sucks. King of the understatement. The North Japan prison camp in Morioka is the largest facility in the country. An AFW can be accommodated there. It's also a suitable location to get resupplied. But I don't want you all to imagine it as if it were some, what, some kind of ordinary prison. A guard unit is constantly patrolling the facility around the clock. It's more like a base than a prison. Sounds like fun. Let's bust heads at this so-called prison camp. If our information is correct, Kaiho is also there. Kaiho! I'm not gonna let him get away this time. Okay, men, ladies, let's make our advance on the prison camp. Once you locate Type 3, destroy it. That is all. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the man. Joining us for this mission is Ayane Carino. I think it's Ayana, and I said Ayane again. Our mission is to reinforce our military strength and to complete our operation. Our mission is to complete our operation. I agree. I agree. I pilot a four-leg AFW. I'm happy to be a part of this team. We're happy to have you. Hey, Ayana. 
Isn't your machine made by the German company Nibeline? Yes, it's supposed to be Nibeline's latest model. I evaluated this model during combat training. The company lent it to us as an exchange. You're riding a nice little machine. But the home of the four-leg AFW is the USA, thanks to GMI Incorporated. John, you really love that four-leg AFW, don't you? All right, everybody. And that is it for this episode. Well, I say this episode, but these episodes. This mission. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time as we break into the Morioka prison camp. Hunting for Kaiho and uh, presumably also helping the people that are there. Be kind of kind of cruel of us to break in, you know, and then not actually help the people that needed help there. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a good day.